Okay, so what we're going to do now is look at performing a standard query on our database. And this will simply involve passing an SQL string and retrieving a result set, looping through or iterating through that result set and just outputting them to the page. So we're not gonna deal with anything special like SQL injection here. That would all have to be done manually here, but we'll speak about that in a moment. So basically um, inside of our database, we need data to work with. So I've created two example posts here. You can see that we've got two, two people have posted essentially name, uh, here and message here with the posted date here as well. So we've got two records in total now that we can work with. And this is within the guest book table, remember. So we need to make sure that we select everything from the guest book table if we want to actually output that. So this is going to be just a standard query. We're going to query the database and loop through the result set. So the first thing that we want to do is perhaps create a variable called query. And we need to use the handler now that we created earlier because this is our sort of constant connection to our database that we need to use. So I'm going to say handler and then use the query method here. And a string inside of here, I want to go ahead and place my SQL query. So if I want to select all fields from this particular database with no limits, I want to basically just get all of the data. I'm going to say select star, so meaning select all of the fields from uh, guestbook. And that's it. So all that's going to do is return me the two records that we've got in here and it will return the ID, name, message and posted. So what happens now? Well, I want to go ahead and iterate through this. So once I've done my query, I need to go ahead and fetch the results from this query. So I'll put this in a while loop and you might may have seen this before if you've worked with MySQLi extension or even the older MySQL extension. So I'm going to say while R equals so r for row equals query fetch and that's it so now what's going to happen is for each result we're going to loop through and iterate over each of these results so in here i can go ahead and echo something like r uh, sorry r message and then perhaps just append a line break onto the end of it so all that's going to do is it's going to loop through each record and then output the message field of each of them records. So in my browser now, I see I've got test post and then another post. So test post, another post. So that's as simple as it gets in terms of querying a uh, sort of bog standard query to the database, uh, looping through, fetching results and then outputting the message. Now there are plenty of other ways we can actually uh, retrieve data. We don't have to get it in this sort of array format. Um, so if we, for example, just took this out of the while loop and just did this, you can see that if we go ahead and do a print R on R, you'll see only one result back because we need to iterate um, iterate through to be able to actually get this. But you can see that by default, we have an associative and a numeric array returned. In fact, it might be easier if we go ahead and just wrap this in pre-tags. So you can see we've got an associative and a numeric array um, being returned. So this is basically a combination of an associative keys and numeric keys. So the ID at field zero is one, the name at field one is Alex, the message at field two is test space, etc., etc. So this is how it's returned by default. Now in the next video, we're going to look at actually uh, choosing how we want this data to actually be returned.